Hello, welcome back to math, first graders. Today, for math, what we will be doing is we will represent and solve subtraction word problems. How we will be doing this is we will use manipulatives and a strip diagram to model and solve a word problem. This is important so we know how to make a model in order to represent our word problems. Let's go ahead and review our vocabulary and our anchor chart. Our vocabulary, our first vocabulary word is strip diagram. In our strip diagram, we have three different sections. We have our whole, and then we have our two parts. So when we are missing our whole number, we, are add, we want to add our two parts together. Our equal sign, which is right here. Our equal sign is a symbol that means is the same. So right here we have six equals six. They're equal because they have the same value. And they, have this, they are the same number. Add, when we are adding, we are joining. So we are putting them together. Our total number is how much we have all together. Our total. Subtract. When we are subtracting, we are separating. So we are taking away. We are separating. In our anchor chart with our strip diagram, we are going to look here in subtraction. So when we are subtracting, when we are subtracting, excuse me, we are missing a part. So in this problem, we were missing a part. And then in this problem, we were missing a part as well. So when we are missing a part, we subtract. So we subtract our whole number from our first part that we have. So our whole number from our first part. So in this problem, we subtracted 16 and 10 to get our mystery number. And then in this next problem, we subtracted 18 and 5 to get our mystery number, our part. Let's look at today's word problem. Here in our word problem, let's read together. Leah had some colored pencils. She gave 12 to undress. Leah has four pencils now. How many pencils did she start with? Okay, so let's see. So Leah had some colored pencils. So we don't know how many colored pencils she had. She gave undress 12. So she gave 12 to undress. So we know that she gave 12 to undress. So I'm going to go ahead and put oops, 12 dots to represent my 12 colored pencils that she gave to undress. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So she gave undress 12, just like this. So right here I have 12 Lincoln cubes to represent the 12 colored pencils she gave to Andres. Let's keep reading. Leah has four pencils now. So she has four pencils left. How many pencils did she start with? So we don't know how many pencils she started with, but we do know that she gave Andres 12, and she has four pencils now. So Leah has four pencils. So what I'm going to do with my drawing is we are going to take away four because we know that she has four pencils left. So I'm going to take away one, two, three, four because these are the four that she has left. So let's go ahead and circle these, what we have left. We can do the same with our linking cubes. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm going to take away 4 because I'm taking away the 4 pencils that she has left because we want to know how many she started with. Okay. So... We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
eight left after we marked off our four pencils that she has left. So our total was 12. So she gave Andres 12. So that is our whole number. So right here at the bottom part of our strip diagram, I'm going to put 12. So when she gave Andres 12, Leah had four pencils. So she had four pencils. I'm going to put four right here. But we don't know how many pencils she started with. That is our question. How many pencils did she start with? So we don't know how many pencils she started with. So I'm going to put a question mark right here. So we know that she gave Andres 12. And she has four pencils. She had four pencils when she gave Andres 12. But we don't know how many she started with. Okay. So let's go ahead and count with our drawing. So I'm going to use my drawing in order to figure out my mystery number. So let's go ahead and figure out how much she started with. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight. So my mystery number is eight. So she started off with eight pencils eight pencils so what you could also do is you can take 12 and since we are missing a part you can subtract it from four so you can use your fingers you can use your drawing or if you have manipulatives but she started off with eight pencils okay she started off with eight pencils so right here, I'm going to put our mystery number. And then I'm going to put plus four. And why am I putting a plus sign? I'm putting a plus sign because we always add our parts in order to get our whole. So then we equals 12. So we knew our whole, and we knew how many she had left when she gave Andres 12. We just didn't know our start. We didn't know how many she started with. So my answer, how many she started with, is 8. She started with 8 pencils. How did we do this? When and explain your answer, that is when you can say, oh, I used my drawing, I used my manipulatives, I used my fingers. You can explain your answer right here. So what I did is I used my drawing. So I used my drawing. So I used my drawing and I took off four because we knew that she had four left and I counted how many were left in order to solve how many she started with which was eight. So now let's go ahead and look at our anchor chart and this is another subtraction problem. I'm going to put it below right here subtraction. So we didn't know how many she started with. So, how many she started with, we don't know. We do know that she had four after she gave on this 12. She had four pencils. So we have our four. And then we do know that she gave on this 12. So that is a whole. So our four is our part, and we were missing another part because we didn't know how many she started with. We are missing a part. So we, our mystery number was our first number, but we always add our parts. That's why I'm putting a plus sign. 
as we always add our parts. And we have our 12. But whenever we don't know our part, whenever we're missing a part, we subtract the whole number and the part. So we subtract these two numbers in order to get our missing part. Let's go ahead and see your activity for today. For your activity for today, go ahead and look for this Google slide that says independent practice and that starts with the name Thomas. Thomas right here. So let's read the problem. Thomas has some candy. He gave 10 pieces to John. Now he has three pieces left. How many pieces of candy did he begin with? So what are we looking for? We need to figure out how many pieces he started with. How many pieces did he begin with? So go ahead and draw your picture right here. And then you're going to go ahead and complete your strip diagram. Just like we practiced earlier. Once you get your answer with your drawing, your manipulatives, your strip diagram, you're going to write your answer right here. How many pieces of candy did he start with? Did he begin with? Then here where it says explain your answer. How did you get your answer? Did you count with your fingers? Did you use manipulatives? Did you use your strip diagram? Did you look at your drawing? How did you get your answer? Once you are done with the activity, you can go ahead and press save on the top right hand corner and turn it in to your, turn it in Google Classroom for your math teacher. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.